Welcome! So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you or teach you on how to customize refresh theme on Shopify or the customization of refresh theme on Shopify using your computer. So if you want to know how I did it, just keep on watching. So first of all, what you need to do is to open your browser and search for shopify.com and then just go ahead and sign in your account. Okay, so once your account is signed in, what you need to do is to click on the online store section at the left side of your screen. As you can see here, there's a lot of options, orders, products, customers, content, analytics, marketing, discount, the online store where we need to go, and then the point of sale and the apps section. Also, I forgot the settings section right here. So click on online store. And below online store, you see the themes, blog posts, pages, navigation, and preferences. Okay. So what you need to do is to select the themes option under the online store. Okay. So now once you are here, as you can see, currently I am using the done theme okay so what you need to do is to scroll down until you see all of these free themes on shopify okay so there's done refresh craft sense and origin but you can also visit the theme store by clicking this visit theme store option okay so here, as you can see, browse over 80 free and paid professionally designed themes. So in this video, we're going to use the theme, refresh theme, okay? So click on the add button so that we can use this theme, okay? So as you can see, it it's now installing right now. So we just need to wait until it is done installing okay so now let's just go ahead and wait for this one so now as you can see the refresh theme is now installed on my shopify so to edit this or to customize this theme what you need to do is to click on the customize button okay so click on that and by the way when you click on this three little dots you see you can preview this rename duplicate download the theme file edit the codes edit default theme content or if you don't want to use this theme you can remove it by clicking the remove button okay so let's just go ahead and go here so as you can see this is the default home page of the theme i'm sorry refresh theme so here at the upper part you see this a drop down arrow or button so you see there's this options the home page products collections collections list pages blogs blog posts cart checkout classic customer accounts and others okay so let's just go ahead and start the customization in the home page. So here, this is the home page of my soon to be website. Okay, so this is just an example. So here at the left side, you see there's this header section, the template, and the footer. So now, as you can see, this is the announcement bar. Okay, so you can edit this by clicking on it this one because it says that welcome to our store and as you can see that under the announcement bar there's this welcome to our store section so if you want to change this text or message you can do that by um tapping i'm sorry typing your message right here okay or if you want to remove it as you can see there's no announcement bar right here so for example just going to type sample 
but you can also put or paste a link right here or search for the collections or any products or pages that you want to put right here okay like that and then here for the header this is the header part okay so for the header you can do a lot of things okay so here you can add a logo or a desktop logo position right here the menu settings the drop down so you can choose the desktop menu type you can go or do drop down mega menu or drawer that's for the sticker sticky header so as you can see when i choose the on scroll up as you can see that when i scroll up you see the header right so let's see when i choose always so as you can see when you choose always even you scroll down you can still see the header okay and here always reduce logo and size so let's try it so as you can see it is still the same on the always but i think it says that reduce logo size so when you have a logo right here on your header i think it will reduce the size of it okay so I want the on scroll up or let's just go ahead and try the none. So when you when you select none, as you can see that you can only see the header when you are at the upper part of your website. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select on scroll up. Okay. So here is called color scheme. So you can change this color color scheme of your website. So just go ahead and choose any scheme that you want here, country, region, selector, language, sector, selector, mobile layout right here, the spacing, you can change it, section padding, and here under theme settings, you can add links like that. And here, you can just go ahead and add your logo, okay? so. Just go ahead and click on the select image button. Here, select your logo. So for example, this one. Click on the image that you want or the logo that you have on your computer, okay? Or on your device. So here, as you can see, this where the logo. So there, custom CSS. So here you can add custom styles to this section only, okay? So that's it under the header section. So let's just go ahead and try again the always reduce size logo. So as you can see that the logo reduced its size, right? So here it's bigger, but when you scroll down, it reduces its size. Okay, so by the way, when you change something on your theme, don't forget to click on the save button, okay, to save all of your changes. Now, let's just go ahead and proceed with the template. So here at the template, this is where you can put any image that you want. Here, subheading, button label button link you can see a lot of things right here but if you don't want a uh, what do you call this the slideshow block you can just go ahead and click on the remove block button right here okay as you can see that the slideshow section is now removed from my theme okay or on the refresh theme so now you can just go ahead and add it again by clicking the add slide right here so for the footer as you can see this is the footer part so here the email sign up so you can just go ahead and edit it again by going here at the right side of your screen okay so now when you click here at the theme settings at the left 
part of your screen you can change you can see your logo so you can change the size of it right here so let's just wait so now as you can see it is now bigger so you can also add a favicon image right here so by the way the favicon is this icon right here at the as you can see at the upper part of my screen but as of now it is the shopify logo so as you can see when i try to add this spongebob image you just need to wait i think i just need to refresh my wait let me just go ahead and save it now click on refresh Okay, so I think I just need to like literally restart my computer so that I can see the Favicon image. Okay, but basically you can see the logo or the SpongeBob image here at the left side of this My Store Customize Refresh, something like that. Okay, so now you can. Edit the colors right here, typography, layout, and many more. Okay, so just go ahead and explore this bit or part of the theme setting so that you can know more about this theme. Okay, you can change the layout, animations, you can add animations right here. So now, here, add app embeds. Okay, so here we can browse apps built for online store 2.0 themes. So just go ahead and search for app embeds that you want. Okay, so as I've said earlier, every time you add or remove something in your theme, don't forget to click on the save button. Okay, so now once you're happy with it, just go ahead and click on the publish button. So your password page is enabled it can be disabled after publishing so this will replace my current theme so let me just go ahead and click on publish okay so as you can see now i am now currently using the refresh theme so let's just go ahead and view it so as you can see this is the customized refresh theme that i've done earlier okay and that is how you customize refresh theme on shopify so i hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell notification so you won't miss a video see you in the next one and have a great day